Hey, thanks for joining me for Crosswind and Five. We are in a new series called Relationships, and we're going to be talking for the next four episodes of Crosswind and Five about how to fix our romantic relationships. Whether you're married, you're dating, or single and desiring to be married, this series is for you. And today I want to talk about the seeking ship. In Ephesians chapter 5, verses 21 through 25, the Apostle Paul says, Submitting to one another in the fear of God. Wives, submit to your own husbands as unto the Lord, and for the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let wives be subject to their own husbands in everything. And husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. When we first read this passage, we can say, I see why there's a sinking ship, because it's telling women that they should submit to their husbands. But we have to go back to verse 21 and read that part first. It says, submit to one another. And what it's saying is that a wife should submit in respect to her husband because he desires to be respected, and a husband should submit to his wife because she desires to be loved. Love comes naturally for women, and respect comes naturally for men. And so this passage is giving us a blueprint how to keep our romantic relationships from sinking. I want to give you four quick points to help you with that. The first one is if you have a hole in your relationship and it's sinking like the Titanic, you need to repair that hole with understanding the role of men and women. As it says, men want to be respected, women want to be loved. And they give love naturally, women do, and men give respect naturally. And so if you're going to understand your role, you're going to have to understand how God created you. And God created you in such a way that that role that you play brings continuity and it brings complementarianism to the relationship. What the man lacks in love, the woman makes up for. What the woman lacks in respect, the man makes up for, and they make a whole. The second thing is when that part of the respect is violated in a man and it creates a hole in him, the woman has to work towards repairing the hole of respect. A man wants to be respected for his identity. He wants to be respected for who he is and who God created him to be. He wants to be respected as a leader and he wants to give value to the relationship by being the protector and the defender of the family. So we need to respect that role that he has. Women value love and being the nurturer and the caregiver in the home. And so if there's a hole there and a man doesn't feel that he is being respected, he's going to react without love. So if he's respected, he'll react with love. If a woman's love, she'll act with respect. And so repairing the whole of love. In verse 25, it says, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. And so husbands, we need to love our wives and demonstrate that love. We need to tell them. We need to express it. We need to lavish them in love. And when we do, respect is built up and love is built up and it repairs the sinking ship. Finally, repair the whole of sacrifice. And the second part of verse 25, the Apostle Paul says this, and gave himself for her. Jesus died for the church. He died to redeem lost people and bring them into fellowship with him so that they could be a part of the church, the kingdom of God. So the analogy is here is that husbands have to be willing to sacrifice for their spouse. Wives need to sacrifice for their husbands. As a matter of fact, men typically will be willing to give up things for a woman. Women typically give out things for a man. What I mean by this is if my child wants something to eat or my wife wants something to eat and we don't have enough money, they eat and I don't eat. That's just the way it is because they come first. So I'm sacrificing by giving up. But my wife gives out continually, and she gives to me uh, the things that I need. She takes care of me. She loves me. She shows and demonstrates support of me and encouragement for me. And so she is giving out of herself. When those two things are violated, there can be friction that comes if we don't appreciate the sacrifice each one is making. Because the man can say, I'm giving up so much. The woman can say, I'm giving out so much, and they become tired. So if you put these four principles into practice, you can repair the holes of a sinking relationship and start building a foundation that will keep you afloat. Hey, thanks for joining me for Crosswind and Five. Have a great day.